Hello everyone and welcome to Brick Stars. Here we're going to be taking a look at the editing process that went into making this photo. Welcome or greetings from the Arctic. Now we took a beautiful sunrise photo in an Arctic region. There's mountains and we sort of put snow, the snow capped mountains and added little seal figures as well as the cute little baby seal. And then this awesome looking snowmobile with a nice mini figure to go with it. She has a backpack and the helmets and everything, so it really looks like she's all geared up, the minifig I'm talking about. Now the seals look so cute there next to her, but we're making it look like she's driving up the mountain or on the snow and sort of passing them. So she's glancing at them while maybe at half throttle, just going over this, so she's not stopped. So we're adding motion. We're adding motion to the treads on her snowmobile and making it look like it is in motion. Of course, we're gonna to need to put particles behind the, the treads, but before that, we're gonna add some nice light glow on these headlamps. So it is a dusk type scenario. So because of that, there's obviously gonna be the need for headlamps to be on in the photo or on her snowmobile. And here we have the particles. So the whole thing with the particles is to give motion to the photo. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And we're of course gonna need some more. We have some snow blowing over the mountain and overall just some snow being kicked up from the treads of the snowmobile. We're adding all that in and giving us that much more of sort of making the photo come alive. That's what I like to do. We always like to make the photo come alive by doing whatever it is to sort of give it motion or give it effects other than just the static ones that you see when you look at Lego. Now we're adding the text. Now this text will actually come from Illustrator and we're going to import it in, but this part here is just a nice font with greetings from the. The Arctic portion will come later from the Illustrator, but here we got the shadows going and we want to make it look like one of those retro photos like from the 60s or 70s. So the font and the color and everything is just that old school style, very retro looking with um, with the stroke around it and the fill, fill effects and shadows and stuff. So we'll align that where we need it. And here you have us trying it with just regular font. But of course, we'll quickly find out here that while Photoshop is good for many things and it would work, it is much better just to import a proper one from Illustrator. And here we have it. This is the graphic that we created in Illustrator. And we align it and we want it to be kind of wavy. Again, very retro block font. Apply the same type of effects. But of course, we now need to apply um, a mask and get this background image on the Arctic font. Now we're just setting up the uh, stroke pattern and making sure that it looks good in that background, which it does. And lastly, an effect is going to be applied on the overall image. We did test out if we ch were to change the vibrancy and stuff, but we found that wasn't very nice. But what was good is getting sort of the noise, which you see here. And there we have it.